Sometimes, remember, Twiggle gets a little shy, and he wants a little bit of help. We have students that deal with a lot of things in their home life. Believe it or not, that stuff doesn't just go away when they walk in the school doors. And so we use the promoting alternative thinking strategies. One long, deep breath. It teaches a child, when they're upset, to stop, to take a deep breath, to say the problem and how they feel. We have seen referrals go down drastically. The children's focus on activities is increasing, as well as their ability to solve problems. The fact that he says that Mexicans are lazy, that they're criminal, criminals, that they're rapists, I think that they eventually, they were internalized that I was like, oh, that's what's expected of me. As a teacher, I have to talk about it, especially when you're talking about building a wall. By me sharing my story, they can have a better understanding of why people have to come to this country. Make sure that you set up the ground rules to have a safe classroom. Make it really clear that just because certain topics and rhetoric are used in the campaign debate, that doesn't mean that they're okay in the classroom. If a student has individual trauma at home or there's community trauma, we're making the classroom and the school a welcome place to work through that. And she started crying, and I was just standing there watching them fight. And so they've started trauma writing circles where one will share their own experience with difficulties at home or self-harm. Very tough issues that if I lecture about, it's not going to connect to students. The reopening of the new Sandy Hook School four years after the tragedy. This is a real positive step forward for us as a district. Over 7,000 people in the community visited the Sandy Hook School. And you have just like that beautiful, be kind, tile sculpture. You've kind of put those pieces together. If there are any mental health concerns, concerns regarding safety, we're taking everything into account in order to assure that our students feel safe, secure, and it's being done collectively. Our students in this community go to 14 different types of trauma by the time they're 18. So those vary from violence, traumatic childhood experiences, so it's important for kids to have something to do out of school. Because we know that between the hour of three and seven, if they don't have something to do, they often find themselves in the street and in trouble. Marvin, when we first started the school year, he was very quiet. Interactions with the other students were very limited. As the year goes along, he's more interactive. When he raises his hands to speak, he's speaking so that everyone can hear him. And I think it has to do with the relationship part that we've built. Albuquerque, as a community, has really rallied around the idea of community schools as something that could intervene in the cycle of poverty, something that could actually address the opportunity gap. We'll use that building that we have, the 180 touches, 49% of the year, where young people come to school, we should make accessible to the students and their families those things that would help them. We have dental clinics in schools, medical clinics. We have before school and after school, learning and extended care. The school is the hub of the community. Take all these assets that we have in our community, bring them together in helping these kids be well, be healthy. They send my children home with backpacks, which have canned food. They care about the children, not just from nine to three. They care about the children from, you know, 24 seven. My youngest, he comes to tutor after school. Didn't know how to read, now he knows how to read, doesn't stop. They've helped us keep our place, because we were about to lose it. If it wasn't for them, we'd have lost it. We have a lot of support. It does take a load off of us. We're then able to really focus on the job that we need to focus on. I firmly believe that it is the strategy that will help young people begin to learn, that will help families really become stronger. When you bring folks together, and give them the opportunity to think together and work together, they'll get better together.